This week, President Trump's former lawyer, Michael Cohen, admitted that he pursued a Moscow real estate deal on the president's behalf. It happened during the heat of the Republican campaign, and he also admitted that he lied to Congress about those discussions to be consistent with President Trump's, quote, political messaging. Joining us this morning is Adrian Lerner, instructor of political science and director of pre-law at the University of North Florida. Thank you so much for coming in, waking up early on the Saturday morning to come in and talk to us. Uh, what does Cohen's plea deal mean for President Trump and the Russia investigation? Let's start there. All right, so we really don't know. Um, we don't know the pieces that Robert Mueller is trying to piece together in this investigation. Uh, we do know that uh, Cohen made false statements to uh, that congressional, the, to the Senate committee, and that is what the plea deal is covering, the federal false statement statute. Uh, so it wasn't done under oath, but a lot of people don't know that you can still get in trouble for lying to Congress, even with statements that aren't under oath if they're false misrepresentations, uh, which is what happened in this case. Uh, we do know that there is a meeting. The question now, of course, is uh, perhaps did Donald Trump Jr. know about that meeting? To what degree uh, was President Trump directly briefed on that meeting? Michael Cohen says he was. Does that mean he was also briefed on other meetings that are part of this investigation that Mueller's um, trying to piece together those connections with so Russia? So a lot of moving parts that could really incorporate and encompass many different people as far up as the president. Many different people uh, in the in the what was then the presidential campaign, right. um, then some that, that went to move to the White House. And really, this is just about you know who plays what role in uh, those discussions with Russia, who uh, has you know, admitted in, in some of international stage to, to election interference. And so that, that's what Mueller is trying to piece together, to what degree these communication networks uh, worked and to what information was being passed back and forth. Now let's talk about the reaction from President Trump and his administration with this increased criticism of the special counsel uh, from Robert Mueller. Let's talk about that reaction. So President Trump has always maintained that he has you know, no contact uh, with Russia during this time and that he didn't have ongoing dealings. Uh, now that has been walked back a bit to, of course, he uh, is saying that he pursued these real estate deals uh, or looked into them tangentially uh, with his handlers uh, like Michael Cohen because he may have lost the election, right? So he's going to continue his business. Uh, increasingly, the administration has referred to the Mueller investigation as a witch hunt, has tried to undermine the credibility of that investigation. Um, and certainly there's been uh, changes in the Department of Justice uh, where people are wondering you know, what that will mean for this investigation going forward. Let's talk about the Paul Manafort uh, investigation and the developments in that case this past week. Will that affect the future of this investigation? Yeah, um, the whole big picture of the investigation, yes. Um, the degree to which it, it's related to Michael Cohen, again, we, we don't know the working pieces that Mueller is really trying to, to assemble at this point. Um, but it, it was a busy week. Uh, we had... Uh, you know, one plea deal fall apart uh, in an actor that may have had uh, connections with Julian Assange and information to uh, the Trump campaign. Uh, we had Paul Manafort's plea deal uh, fall apart. And uh, it turns out that his lawyers were talking to Trump's lawyers and passing information back and forth. If Paul Manafort was lying to a uh, special counsel, then of course that is going to, to have implications for this investigation going forward. Adrian Lerner. Thank you so much for coming in and talking with us on this Saturday morning. Thank you. Thank you.